Welcome back guys to another GTA 5 LSPD Fire Patrol on the PC. We're playing as the Metropolitan Police's Trojan unit today, SC-19. We're going to be a special tag team that's been tasked with serious and violent crime, seeing as the last few videos we've had have involved a lot of firearms and a lot of shootouts. So we're going to be patrolling this area and probably most of the city today. Well, we might even go up to north of the city as well. It just depends on what calls we get. So hopefully we'll be able to take anything that the city throws at us. This is one of the unmarked police uh, ARVs, so this is an armed response vehicle. I'm going to show you, because I haven't done these guys for a while, I want to show you guys some of the really cool stuff in our vehicle. So, I think this time around I'm going to use menu to actually uh, open the uh, boot, that type of thing. So, go to doors over here. So, if you don't have LSP Defile installed, you can always do it this way. Go to trunk. And it's a lovely car, by the way. This is uh, the unmarked version. So, I'll show you what I mean now. So, we've got all the equipment. We've got Officer Needle Dick and Doodle Dick. So, usually ARVs are like basically have a team of two inside them. You've got the... Uh, got the special boot, you've got decontamination kit, you've got all this equipment, specialist equipment, so not just like firearms related, but special and like incidents like your fires or anything, you want to ram the door, you want to do raids type of thing. Um, so I'm going to get my weapon out, so this is the SIG MCX. This is standard issue with the Met Police Firearms Unit. I'll be using it for quite a while actually. They don't really use MP5s or G36s anymore, but sometimes they'll use MP MP5s. Obviously you've got the pistol as well, standard service issue, Glock. 17 with a flashlight. We have the X2 taser, which is probably going to be the most used weapon in today's video. We also got the uh, beanbag gun. Well, it's not actually a beanbag gun, but it's a HK69. It's a baton gun, rubber bullets. So this is quite accurate to what the real police would use. So you can stop someone. It'll hurt a lot, but you basically have to aim at a non-lethal area and you're getting bruises. But yeah, we'll be ready for patrol. I just want to show you some more stuff. We've got tear gas. With basically like flashbangs, we got, uh, I don't know what the jerry can was meant to be for refueling the car, but we got extinguisher, because remember the last video we did? The fire extinguisher, and we had to actually get it for the back of the car, but this time around we got it equipped to us, so it's good. And I also got the baton and the uh, flashlight and everything, all the regular police and tools. So, yeah, our course then today is Trojan 1. I would say Trojan 2, because we're Victor 2, but today we need Trojan 1, so... As you can see, you got fire buzzards, pets, you got Ben and Joe's amazing X5. Very realistic, it's the Met Police spec. And if I go to the vehicle options again, the best part is just like, just like, um, actually I'm be cheeky and give myself, actually I'm going to give myself a turbo, but yeah. So just like the, uh, the LSPDFR menu, you can just close the doors when it's, uh, when you're out of it too, so I just do that. But like, uh, that's quite nice, you know, the trunk's actually closed now, which is quite cool. So I might actually do that from now on, maybe a quick menu or something, but yeah. We're going to go show ourselves available for duty, and we're going to be taking some high priority calls. Make sure from Trojan 1, show us available in the area, stay 2. Alright fellas, you have your briefing, you know what to do, let's get in the car, let's go uh, give this place a patrol. We might actually go to uh, the Rove Street area as well, seeing as there's always situations there where stuff goes down. Alright, we got a person with a firearm Olympic on Olympic Freeway. Make sure from uh, Trojan 1, uh, we'll be just wanting to agree to that set uh, incident, stand by. Check right. Okay, let's go. Is it down here? We're on Olympic Freeway, so we'll be under the dam somewhere. It's under this area. Yeah, it's gonna be the dam. Okay, uh, we just pop the car over here, turn the lights off, I don't want to bring the attention. Okay, guys, we're gonna do a bit of a sightseeing. We've got a person, apparently, they might be uh, under the influence of something or slightly mentally disturbed. They have the gun. You see out the window right now, if you look very carefully. Make a troll from Trojan 1. We have a uh, person, I believe, stumbling down the dams at Capital Boulevard. Got a weapon in the hands, I believe this is the person. Uh, the white shirt, dark trousers, colour not discernible, probably blue jeans. And yeah, they're working, walking towards the train tracks. Uh, they seem quite intoxicated. We're going to go try and uh, make a tactical entrance to the position. Taken by surprise. Uh, stand by for any more information. Gonna get down there. Wait for these cars to pass. It's difficult because this car hasn't even got fender off lights on the side, so I have to be very careful because the traffic won't be able to see me otherwise. I'm going to try and enter this building site. I 
Okay. We're gonna get tasers out, and if anything happens, we're gonna get the beanbags out instead. <coughs> Pardon me. Ah, oh, let's turn everything off. Trojan 1, stand by for an altercation. We're currently at State 4 by the train tracks. I believe the train is train tracks are clear. We're moving in quietly now. We'll be making contact with the suspect very shortly. Be advised, there may be an altercation. Okay, we're going to sneak through these bushes. I'm going to wait because this GWR train is going past. We've asked for them not to stop the trains. Because if we do, then they get suspicious. Okay, this is quite cool actually. This car is quite dark as well. It's like pitch black color. I'm gonna turn the uh, I can't turn the DRL, DRLs off, but I can turn the headlights off. I'm gonna keep them on for now because it won't really. It's not that dark, so it won't give it give us away. Okay, suspects on the left. You guys can see the bridge area. I think we might have to get a rubber bullet because we're gonna be out of range. So the taser will be out of taser range, and we get a rubber bullet. My partners are gonna keep on shooting them with rubber bullets. I'm gonna run towards them and uh, put the handcuffs on him. Turn the lights off. The thing is, the DRLs are still on, but the uh, other lights are off. I'm just trying to find an area where we can just run and pounce into him. Because right now, if I shoot him, there's no way I can get down and arrest him. Checking behind me as well. I want to get an extra backup unit here, but I'm not sure whether it's a good idea just yet. I think one unit is better because we have a higher rate of mobility. I think I'm going to go drive down here. Let's see if there's any entrance. Yeah, there's an entrance. Okay, that's good. We'll take a turn down here. Hopefully, we'll take this person. Nothing will happen. Nothing dangerous will happen. Just drive over here. I'm going to climb over the dam. And if I do need to get out of this area quickly, I'll just reverse out this place. Uh, it looks like we've got a dead end over here. We do have the guy. He's going to open fire us right now. There's no way we can take cover, so I'm going to go slowly back up over here instead. Got visual on him though. I think I'm going to get another unit just to tactically outmaneuver this guy. I just don't want them to open fire on him because they're going to go lethal, my partners. Main control from Trojan 1. We're at West Bucci Boulevard on the bridge now. We've got the mail in sight, uh, clear sight of the mail. Uh, seems no harm to anyone at the moment, but he is carrying what believes to be, what believes to be an automatic weapon. Uh, we're going to make contact with him shortly, but we might need another unit in stealth. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get a firearms unit. And get him quietly as well. Uh, Make control for Trojan 1. He's walking towards us slowly. Not sure if he's recognised us yet. Okay, what we're going to do is wait till he gets a bit closer. We're going to slowly get out. Actually, I think if he gets a bit closer, what I'm going to do is... You see that, uh, that wall by the right of us? I'm going to use that as cover. Okay, when he gets past that bl blue mark, we're going to get out, get the baton guns out, back up is on its way. I believe they're above there by the bridge, they've got like a sharpshooter position. Okay, right, we're going to go make contact, keep the doors open. Make control from Trojan 1, we're going to make contact with the suspect now, drawing baton guns. Okay, where's the, my backup? Oh wow, brilliant driving, guys. Arm police, drop the weapon! First speed bag, gun shot. Drop the weapon now! Stupid. Drop the gun! Drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. He's not going down, we have to switch to lethal. Drop the weapon now. So your final warning, drop the gun. Bloody how the hell did he get a hold of a freaking Israeli battle rifle? It's a freaking Tartar 21, isn't it? Okay, he's got quite a few bruises. I think it's some internal bleeding here. Uh, Trojan 1. Male is in custody. A dam, no casualties so far. We need a paramedic on site, though. Okay, you come with me. 
This is how we're taking it down from now on, guys. We're going to be tactful. Careful what we're doing. And we'll push him against this wall. There's no way for him to run. Okay, right. I'm going to go uh, kneel him down. Alright. Officers over here. Make control from Trojan 1. Uh, we get an ambulance over here. We'll also get a... Uh, get with a background check this individual in a minute. We'll need territorial police to pick him up too. Right, his name is Matthias Molto. Shifty eye movement. I'm going to get him up. I'm going to get an ambulance here as well. Can I call it RMV? I can't. Okay. I have to call him on the eye grade. Get paramedic over here to see him. Ambulance. Assistance required in La Mesa. And we're going to go check him for drugs. Partner's going to check him. And grab up one of those t test kits in the back of the car. We seized the weapon. I'm going to put a weapon in the, ev in the evidence bag. I'm also going to do my partners a favour and unflip their car because they're extremely stupid. I can't actually do that. Can I? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. There we go. And, um... <clears throat> How do I actually fix this car? I don't know. Well, it's not my problem. He's under the, um... He's under the influence of methamphetamine and marijuana. Right, you're going to be searched. Um, we need an upregular officer over here to search him. That's the thing, because... You're going to get gun residue on him otherwise. That's going to cause issues for evidence. Make control for Trojan 1. Quest in. Quest in our regular units over here. We need it for a search. We're going to conduct uh, standby for details. The, the uh, mail we just detained for carrying an automatic rifle. That's a nice train. Where's my back? Oh man. The thing is, with this game, sometimes they spawn the units on the wrong side of the bridge, and in reality that wouldn't happen, you know, they'd know where to go. And I put this car here, because they're automatically going to get out otherwise. Same with the paramedics too. Whoa. Okay, paramedics, right, you want to have a look at him? This guy here. Whoa, okay. Apparently, according to them, there's no issue. Alright, officer, you come over here, yeah? And you want to search him for me because I can't search him myself, I'm not allowed to. There's a reason why, by the way. Okay, this officer's going to search you, paramedics going to be simultaneously having a look at him. They're also giving my partner's uh, help. Oh, actually, they're, they're actually healing them, that's quite cool. They actually gave him a med pack, that's interesting. And the officer's search the regular... Oh, oh, this is annoying. The firearms officer searched him, even though I moved the regular one closer. Or we'll just pretend that didn't happen. He's got another assault rifle from a pocket knife. Okay, well this guy is now going to be taken to uh, local police station. I think the territorial officers are going to take him back. Okay, control Trojan one. Uh, situation is now under control. I show a state two back on duty again. No further assistance is needed. There we go. We're putting in the back of the car, I believe. Or we'll disperse all the other units. Right, let's get back in the car. What is he doing? Whoa, okay. Let's get on the other side, that's why. Okay, I'll just back up a bit. And I'll escort the BMW out. Well, we're all BMWs, actually. That makes no sense. We do have a live railway line here, which we'd be a bit careful of. I believe that Tiguan is a bit of a problem getting out here, too, but he's now found a way to do it now that I'm watching. Okay, folks. That was interesting. First call out, and we managed to take someone down non-lethally, which is, I'm quite proud of it, you know, to be fair. Doesn't always happen. I'm going to continue patrolling these docklands because they are quite dangerous. There's always something dodgy happening. What is this guy doing? But yeah, these are like the same as the marked ARVs, but the only difference is obviously, you know, you can prioritize different calls because we are unmarked, so the lighting is a bit different. But yeah, the police these days, a lot of police cars, 
unless you're like a detective, like a very high ranking detective and you need to go and stake out suit your personal car, most unmarked cars have the exact same equipment as the marked ones and they do the same thing too, it's just that they're unmarked. I mean you'll have like a very compartmentalized light bar, you know there'll be a light on the back of the car like, like this for instance. But apart from that, apart from the paint scheme and the lights, it is exactly the same. That's what I've been told anyway, so. The more you know, really, the more you know. This game is so smooth lately as well, which I'm really happy with. That van needs to go. Let's see, you can't call it our unit just yet, it's fine. Right, we'll go uh, ahead there now. In a moment, I'm just going to put my, uh, set myself to an arm so that I can change the sirens so that my character wanting to aim. Okay. Trojan 1 will be responding to that manhunt and will be um, securing the area for the marked units. person I believe is highly dangerous, so be a bit careful. Trojan 1 on scene. Visual, visual, we got a man running, male running. Rest in more Trojan units. Stop running. Copy that, we are on our way. Go, go, go. Stop running, I'm police. Mech Me control, uh, find your lane, El Bunchy Boulevard, male being pursued on foot. Plane to stop, going towards the uh, T junction near the uh, shell garage, taking a left. Okay, he's now going down Capitol Boulevard towards the bridge. Put three units. Update, he's just gone past the hospital. Still going towards the bridge, he's now on the bridge. Running in all this gear must be absolutely agonizing. Everyone, get down! Get down! Stop running! On the ground! On the ground, now. Hands up. Trojan 1 to Met Control. Uh, males in custody, Capital Boulevard. Stand by for more information. I don't know where they got the idea he's got a weapon from, but he hasn't carried one as far as I know. Let's search him. Yeah, suspect's been detained, Capital Boulevard. Stand by for more information. Okay, now what to do? Let's have a look. A few moments later, we managed to uh, get the other units to stand down as well. My partner's going to go up search him this time around, because last time I did it, it didn't really work, did it? Have to go check him. They're doing a pat down anyway, not thoroughly searching him. Alright, he's got a bag of tan powder residue. So why was he stopped then? Doesn't see too much information. Okay. I want to get a background check for Jax Edwards. Get a background check, come on. Okay, it's all good. It's all clean. Why were you running? Hmm? He's not saying anything. It looks a bit, like, a bit like Kurt Cobain, doesn't he? Okay. Might be the wrong guy we have here, but we were told that you had a weapon on him. He's not saying anything. I think he's anti-police, but yeah. All right, if you're not telling us anything, mate, we're going to have to take you to the station. All right? It's just standard protocol. Okay. Assistance required. Get a police van for the local unit. 
Yes, Baseman Mail at uh, Captain Boulevard. Uh, recently stopped him. Doesn't seem to have any weapons or any sorts, but uh, he's refused to cooperate with us. Right. You get in the police van. Seeing as this guy isn't really doing himself any ju any justice, unfortunately, so I have to take him to the police station uh. in his van. And we'll take it from there, really. Sure. Okay. My man gone being arrested. Okay, let's go back in our car and back on patrol. Back patrol, state two. Okay, we got a dangerous pursuit going on right now, folks. We need to head there immediately. Alright, turn around, let's go. Firing at the officers, gosh, okay, this is not very good either. Make sure show Trojan 1 urgently responding to that open um, open firing uh, call out, high grade, immediately. Oh gosh, all chaos is breaking out. Whoa! Steady on, guys! What a police car, you absolute baboon. What absolute prawn. Oh, uh, 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 putting all my Trojan driving skills to the test here. My control for Trojan 1, uh, we're about two minutes out. We're going to be in the pursuit shortly. We need air support above as well, flying from a safe altitude. Um, we'll take from there. Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. We get advantage point. Okay, apparently two of them jumped out of the vehicle. All right, where is he? Where is he? There's a second suspect running with a weapon. Okay. All right, he's got a gun pointed out towards me. Stop running! Stop running! Make control. Urgent, urgent assistance. Active message. A weapon. We need more units. Alright, right, get your weapons out, guys. Drop the weapon, drop the weapon! Idiot. Drop it! On the ground! Oh, wow, absolute prawn. <laughs> Biggest insult ever. I love the word prawn as an insult now. Just so funny. Right, Needle Dick, you go arrest him. I'm gonna take the other guy down, okay? I need to arrest this sucker. Yeah, you go arrest him, okay? We'll go find the others. Get in the car, guys, get in the car. Come on, let's go. Oi, prawns, get in the car. Oh, shots fired, okay. I'm gonna rifle out. We're gonna open fire, we're gonna open fire now. Drop the weapon! down, one mile's down, uh, in state two, urgent assistance, need ambulance right now. Ambulance, assistance required on, uh, Supply Street. Reloading! Oh shit! Okay, let's get the police tape out right now. Oh, he just threw the tape like a savage. Control from Victor from uh, Trojan 1. State 2, Supply Street is now temporarily closed. We've got one casualty. Currently got LAS on scene. We're getting coroners around soon as well, if needed. Grab his weapon. Sorry. Is he dead? Doesn't look like he's gonna make it, folks. 
Okay, forensic service is going to come. In real life, I get taken off duty for this. It gets a lot of trouble. But, you know, it was obviously aiming at the police officers. Get forensics over here instead. Two suspects as well. We'll get the uh, police fans with the other suspects. Alright, fellas. That was a good job. No casualties as far as I know, except that taxi driver that rammed into me. And here's the forensic services. So they're going to take them from here. Get the body to the morgue. You know the deal? I'm going to call these the Corpse Fairies from now on. That's the nickname for the uh, the coroners because it's just, you know, they do wear like funny clothes, don't they? Corpse Fairies on scene. But Corpse Fairies is a bit of a um, tongue twister, isn't it? It's not that easy to say, so maybe I won't say that. Okay, Trojan 1 is going to be going off patrol now due to the uh, officer involved shooting. So show us off uh, patrol once my partners become back to the station as well. Yes, folks, I'm going to end the patrol here and go back to the station as if it was real life because, you know, the officer involved with shooting, so obviously it's very difficult. We have to debrief. Go to the police station. Dismiss the other officers too. And get rid of the police tape. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I've got to say, it was a brilliant video. Well, I mean, patrol. I'm going to sound a bit over the top, but yeah. It was a good video, a good patrol. I enjoyed this. I like playing as the unmarked cops. Usually when I'm playing as these guys, I'm crazy, but today I tried to be a bit more realistic. I'm going to say that, I'm just going on the curve, but yeah. Go to the police station, we'll debrief regarding that shooting. We'll do a fact check, all the usual stuff, and then we'll just kind of take it from there. Let's pull our car up over here. And turn the engine off. Okay, so I'm going to take the helmet off now. The EUP will be doing a good job at that. So I'll just go to here. Edit my outfit. Is it going to be zero? Yeah, so the hat's off now. Oh, the hat is on still. Okay, never mind. But yeah, we'll, I'll find a way to work that out in my videos. And we'll get some EUP response officers in game two. But yeah, it looks like we have a lot to answer up for, so it's not going to be that pretty, but you know, get all the body cam footage and it'll be fine. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Till then, stay tuned.